Uh, I'm here with uh, Peggy Nash. <laughs> Peggy, will you just uh, go over again what you were saying before? Um, first of all, how was it to meet uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama from Tibet? Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very special occasion. Our parliament, all parties in our parliament, uh, unanimously recommended that he be made an honorary Canadian citizen. And uh, it was a great honor to meet him when, when, uh, when he came to Canada. He's been here a few times now. And um, in my community, uh, I, uh, we have a number of newcomers to Canada from, from many different countries, but we happen to have a large uh, community who are of Tibetan origin, whether they came directly from Tibet or from India or from Nepal. And um, certainly uh, they've educated me about their history and how they got here. And um, uh, they're, they're a lovely part of our community. And uh, uh, I know they have a lot of issues that they're raising about human rights in China. Can you talk a bit about some of the obstacles they face to get to Toronto? Um, well, many of them uh, come here from refugee camps. Uh, often they don't have proper documentation. It is a real uphill battle, as it is for, for many refugees to get here. Um, but it's, uh, it, it's sad. They feel that, um, uh, I mean, they would love to just go back to their homeland, and uh, uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, possible in the near future. But. You know, China's a, a great country. It's one of the, the great civilizations of the world. And I know this is a particularly thorny issue for the Chinese, but I'm hopeful that, um, that over time there will be a, a reconciliation and uh, those of Tibetan origin can live in peace and harmony as part of the great uh, nation of China. Um, just talk a bit about how you how you find the current situation in Tibet, because there's been cases up in Amdo province which is called uh, Naba, I think. Um, the region of Naba has, has seen 10 self-immolations in, in that area, in the Kirti Monastery, um, uh, which traditionally hasn't happened in Tibetan culture because it's frowned upon to take your own life. Yeah. How do you feel about these cases of self-immolation coming back through the, through the media channels? Yeah. yeah, I've heard about these, and uh, certainly there's been a number of demonstrations about this. I just think it's profoundly sad. It speaks to the desperation that so many people are feeling that uh, they're, they want to be able to practice their own language, their culture. Uh, they're very, very proud of their culture, which is quite beautiful. Uh, they want to be able to practice their religion. And um, yeah, it's my understanding that, that self-immolation is, uh, is, is certainly not a normal practice. So I, I think people must be feeling quite desperate to engage in that. It's, it's very sad. and. Um, Again, I think it's it's a difficult situation that uh, you know I'm I believe in negotiation and trying to find common ground, and I'm uh, hopeful that sooner rather than later uh, that that there can be accommodation so that uh, that that Tibetans in China can live uh, in a in a situation of peace uh, and and comfortable in their own culture.